Hello, Snack Pack. Welcome back to Travel Snacks. Or if this is your first time, welcome to the channel and the live stream. Travel Snacks is all about traveling, eating good food, making connections, being kind to one another, using the resources you have, and maybe living a different lifestyle than the norm. So you might be living in a car, RV, truck, SUV, camper, tiny home, or something like that, and you just want to do something different. So welcome and happy Saturday. Oh boy, we already have like a bunch of um, chats going on. How's everybody doing today? And how was your week? Um, I don't know if this is HDJKSA or Hajjaksa52. Sorry if I'm messing your name up. I just want to say something. I like your channel. Thank you for getting my attention with genuine content. I'm noticing a lot of female van lifers are trying to get attention by showing cleavage and sexually suggestive clickbait. You keep it clean and mature. This is why I take you seriously as a van lifer and YouTuber. Oh, thank you so much. And hello, Janiyah. Um, Thank you so much. I'm just reading down some of these comments. Hey, Grant, how are you? Um, for those of you that are new to the channel, Grant is my moderator for the live chats on the side here because we're starting to get a lot more people and he's been here at pretty much every live stream and he knows all the things. So thank you, Grant, for being our moderator and being part of the snack pack, a big part of the snack pack. Um, hey, Eve, how are you? You're not late. <laughs> uh, yeah, the election was like, man, took everybody all over the place. So you're not late and welcome. Um, let's see. Hey, Mike, how are you? How's it going? Let's see. Oh, boy, I'm up. I'm already scrolling back. Uh, hey, Felicity, how are you? Hey, Tanya, how are you doing? Usually, okay. This is like romper room, and Alice like, like, oh, do you guys remember romper room? That's totally dating myself. Um, looking into the magic screen is screen and seeing all of us and calling up. Like, wasn't it like a little like looking mirror? And she's like, I see so and so and so and so. That was a legit show. I actually like that show. Yeah. So Mike said dating himself too. For the love of Oklahoma, Trish Gotchis. Good afternoon to you. Oh, Eve is desperate for news on the build. I have a lot of news this week, so I'm very excited to share. Um, let's see. Let's see. I'm ready for some snack chat, van chat. Yes. Grantini. <laughs> um, okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hey, Catherine, how are you? Who else is in here? Oh, did Mike get a new job? Did I miss something? Or was that from last week? Hey, Debbie from Idaho. Oh, I bet it's cold up there. Hey, Monique, how are you? Hey, Robert. Greetings from Oklahoma. Also uh, glad to see you. Awesome, awesome. Hey, Mimi King, how are you? Michelle, hi, how are you? Let's see. Magic looking glass, yes, a mirror. Hey, Steve, how are you doing? Oh, welcome to the snack pack. Um, also, if you're not already subscribed, anyone that's on here, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll know every time I upload a new video or we start a live stream. So I'm gonna be starting to do more live streams in a few weeks here, probably. Uh, also throw a like on this live stream because that helps YouTube to know you guys like these. Um. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, Dee Dee, how are you? Just getting settled in with my coffee for all the week's spillage. Awesome. Robert, Eve, Janaya, Romper, Stomper, Bumper, Boo. I see. <laughs> that was a cool show. They need to bring that back. Hey, that indie girl, how are you? Hey, Kita Odin from Atlanta. Atlanta's one of my favorite places. 46 and light rain near Olympia. Oh, man. The new job starts next week. Okay. Hey, Wanda. Uh, Montana. Oh, lots of snow already. Uh, is it Benoit Chenier? Chenier? Benoit? I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm probably <laughs> butchering that. 
Um, but welcome. Yes, we are over 11K. Let me see. Um, we hit 10K and then all of a sudden I looked and it was like, let's see, today it's 11,505 uh, snack packers. It's amazing. It's wonderful. You guys are so awesome. It's just great. Hey, Jane, how are you? How will you entertain yourself and your band during inclement weather? Movies, music, reading, crafts, writing. Probably I'll be editing a lot of videos and probably music and mostly podcasts. I do like to read. I do have a, a Kindle that I've probably used once and I'm going to bring that and probably try to start getting back into reading. Um, so we'll see. You're adding a bathroom with your van. Uh, yes, like a little built like toilet, like bucket system. Um, thanks, Eve. She threw a like on my on my video. Um, hey, Donnie, how are you? The channel is on fire. Oh, from Quebec. Oh, awesome. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hey, 5150. Uh, glad you're making progress. I suggest you have more than two sources of heat just in case stuff happens and utilities become available. Yeah, I'm trying to think of some things, and I'm going to get to something today that might help with that. Um, other YouTubers are complaining about not getting paid from ads. I hope you don't experience that. I've been getting some still, I mean, you know, it's not like a full-time job or anything, but um, maybe I'm not at that level to where I notice that big of a difference because I'm still like not, you know, YouTube famous or anything. Hey, Linda, how are you from Florida? Another place I love. Um, what about painting on the road? Like art, maybe that would be fun. I always find like painting or art kind of things very like therapeutic or very just like calming kind of like eases my mind between my Kindle and YouTube. I can pass an entire day. That's interesting. I haven't really gotten into my Kindle. I've had it for like at least two or three years. And I just, I usually just go to the library and get books and then return them, but we'll see. Um, it's this week's been cold for me. It's been like, um, in the forties, and very cold. So we've been out working in the workshop and on the van, like with like right now I have on um, like a like tights and then jeans over those tights. And then I have um, a tank top on under this, a long sleeve. And then I've been putting my jacket on and a beanie. Um, to me, it's very cold and it's not even that cold comparatively to probably a lot of places you guys are in. But here it's been very cold. The last three days though, it's been, you know, a little more warm, which is makes it so much easier to work in the van. But when it's super cold, my hands are super cold and I'm trying to drill stuff. Also my hands working outside are so dry and chapped. So I've been using a lot more lotion, which, you know, usually I don't have to do, but it's been really cold. Painting on the road can be fun if the traffic is light. <laughs> YouTube famous, I'd recognize you. <laughs> Uh, don't paint on the road during rush hour. The 40s isn't cold. I survived <coughs> the polar vortex. Dang. Hey, Jay from Sorty Stories. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to Sorty Stories because they have a great channel, him and his son, Anthony or Tony. While we were in flip-flops and shorts in Milwaukee, you know, I was thinking, why does van lifers do, why don't van lifers do Lyft or Uber? How to make money quick just switch on the app i think you could do it if well i don't know like i mean i think you have to have seat belts so if you have a bed in the back and you don't have seat belts i don't think you can do it um i know my van in the back won't have seat belts so i wouldn't be able to do that plus i don't like to talk to people in my car <laughs> uh okay um so everything's been going pretty good this week i it's been very cold and so I don't know. I feel like hibernation mode, you know, how bears get like intuitively just go into hibernation. I've been like, so working very hard on this van. And then I'm just so tired at the end of the day, I'm just like falling asleep, just trying to keep awake, but I've still been working very hard, but it's been a weird week. Uh, I'm not talking to people. In your car. <laughs> I mean, I like people like in general or friends, but like strangers, I'd be that Uber person or lift person that'd be like okay so we're just gonna have quiet time in the car you just relax back there here's some snacks 
and just ask me a question if you really need to, because I kind of like, you know, chilling when I drive. Uh, we hit, ne is that negative 30? But I used to live in the high desert of California and desert cold hurts. Yeah, that, I'm in the high desert as well. So when it gets cold at night, it's like crisp and cold, but not, I do recognize that there's a lot of you that are in places that are like frozen. So I'm used to growing up in the desert. So when it starts to get just a little cold, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I need 52 layers. And so that's just my personal experience. As a last resort, be sure to keep a bunch of candles, which can provide at least some heat. A company called Uko makes a chandelier that uses three candles to provide both light and 5,000 BTUs of heat. Oh, interesting. I'm going to write that down. Candles. Awesome. Um, there's no place like Gnome for the holidays. Lyft or Uber, you can't get them. Snacks or water like people used to. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, so they're okay. So they can't do that anymore. I remember you were so cold at times when you traveled in your car. Will you have the Mr. Buddy? I do have my little Mr. Buddy heater. Um, and I think I wouldn't use it. Like if you guys watched that video about staying warm, I didn't want to use it in my car after all. I think in the van I could because I'm going to have a countertop and I could set it on there. Like, so it's not going to just be falling all over the place. So I am going to bring it with me and see what happens. Hey, Annika from Sweden. Oh, well, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm the customer who doesn't want the driver to talk to me. I pretend I don't speak. The Hilarious. I should start doing that. Yeah, I'm not customer too. I don't, I don't like to chit chat. Well, that's, that's half true. It really depends on like my mood because if I'm in like a location that is new to me, I'll be like, oh, so is there a great restaurant or whatever? But if I'm just kind of like local in California, I'm like, yeah, I'm just, I just want to chill back here and not talk. Two years ago, I remember waking up at a temperature of three degrees. It was 12 degrees when I went to work. That is in Dayton, Ohio. Dang, that's too cold. That is too cold. One dislike. Who disliked this live stream? Who disliked it? How dare you? <laughs> they make a 12 volt heater blanket that supposedly doesn't take much energy. Oh, cool. I do have a, it's not a 12 volt, but I do have a electric blanket that I could just plug into my power bank. Um, also real quick, um, if anybody would like to make a donation to the snack fund, you can hit the little, little dollar sign down below, um, which that's a YouTube donation. YouTube does take 30% of that donation. So I always just like to say that so that everybody knows where their money's going. Um, or on any of my videos descriptions, there's a link for PayPal or Cash App if you feel like doing a donation. But again, never obligated or required. I don't expect it at all, but some people ask. And so I like to mention it. Um, all right. So... You need to check on the diesel heater. I heard they are. So I've checked on those. I think there's there's one called a Wabasto. And then there was, what was the other one called? I forget the other one. Um, they're expensive. And for my van, I'm like, I don't think. I, I think I'm going to try to just stay warm with my layers and maybe that little buddy heater um, and see what happens. But I am going to be going out in my van soonish. And it's getting colder. So I'm going to just have to see what my options are. Let's see. If it's... Yeah, no, YouTube is crazy. Like, I don't want to put them down because this is the platform I'm using. And so, you know, never bite the hand that feeds you. You know what I'm saying? But I think 30% is like, really? And like, you can't do anything about it. So you just got to deal with it. But I like to let people know because... Like if I give donations to people, I want the no donation to go to that person. I don't mind if a company takes like five or 10%, but like 30, that's crazy. I don't know, but it is their platform and their technology. So I don't want to be like too hard, but still. Um, <laughs> this is a friendly snack place. Yes. Hey, Grady. Um, I I'm in Southern California. Uh, you can find bunk heaters from tractor trailer junkyards. Oh, interesting. Now imagine playing or going to a football game in negative 12 for three hours. We would do that here in the land of Packers. No relation to the snack pack, though. Glad to be part of both. 
Yes, I wouldn't. I don't think I could do that. That's too cold. Did you keep your little fridge that you tried out for your car? Yes, and it's installed and we're going to get to that. So that's one of the things I'm so excited about. Um, you know, they provide the platform, but man, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, hey, David, how are you? I just installed a diesel heater in my van. You can run it all night. Oh, interesting. What brand was that, David? What did what was it? And was it expensive? Uh, because I'm still looking at heater options. But you know, they're kind of expensive. Hey, Julie, how are you? Get a space blanket then also. Yeah, I've heard that several times. and I think I am going to get one of those just in case. Check out Travels with Bruce. He is always asking people to donate to PayPal because YouTube hasn't paid him since October. That's weird. I don't know about that. But I'll check out that um, channel. I might already be subscribed because I subscribe to a lot of travel channels. Um, travel with, wait, where to go with Bruce? You need a Patreon account. I've, tr I've thought about a Patreon account, but that's just one more thing to manage. So I'm thinking of some other ways to do some things. But right now during the van build, I don't feel like I have any capacity for anything extra. But once I get back out on the road, I am going to start adding new things. So it's going to be very exciting. My PayPal name is, let's see. I always forget. I think it's Allison Sharp, like my full name. But let me. Um, yeah. Let me just paste it here. All right, so I just pasted that and I will pin it to the top. Um, hey, Jeff, how are you? Jeff, I've been to Home Depot like every day. I'm surprised I haven't run into you again. Um, which one do you have, Jeff? The Which diesel heater and how much was it? Okay, so David... Uh, has the Chinese diesel heater 140 that's not bad it works just as great as the 1500 German brand Espar. I've heard of that brand too okay so I'm going to check out the Chinese diesel heater um TikTok is another platform that is fun and you can redirect people to to your YouTube channel I've tried TikTok <laughs> this is a funny story a couple of my friends were like, you really need to do TikTok. You'd probably blow up on TikTok. So I spent some time like editing like a short clip. <coughs> <coughs> Not COVID. It's been so dry here that <coughs> my throat has been getting super dry. I need more water. So anyways, I pieced together like, I don't know how long they could be on TikTok, like a minute or I don't even know. It's 30 seconds, something. And I spent time like putting all the words on it and stuff. And I was like fully expecting to just blow up right away. And I think I got like one view on that TikTok video. And I was like, I'm done with TikTok. I'm not putting my time and effort in TikTok. So that was my one experience with TikTok. Now, Instagram has those reels. And I think they're trying to compete with TikTok. So I might dab like dip my toe into the Instagram reels because I already use Instagram. TikTok, I feel like it's an extra thing. So I don't know. Let's see. Uh, you should become an Amazon affiliate so we can pick up all the cool gear you get. I am an Amazon. I <laughs> can't even talk. I am an Amazon affiliate. Um, here, let me just grab that link for you too. <laughs> um, the cool thing about being the Am, like having an Amazon affiliate link is. Um, it doesn't cost anybody anything extra. So here, I'll put this one up too. So if you use that link that I just pasted on just buy any, like anything on Amazon, if you start from that link, um, I get like, it's like 10 cents, 50 cents, you know, 20 cents, but it just adds up. So if somebody buys, like, for example, if I talk about like, whatever, like my car air mattress or, you know, clothes or I don't know, whatever, sleeping bags, and you guys buy anything, it doesn't even have to be the things I recommend, but you use that link, then it starts to add up and that helps with the snack fund. So that's also great. So thank you for also just recommending that. Oh, and I'm gonna have this page, I'm already working on this page um, where I'm gonna list all the things I used for the van or all the things I use on the road. So it'll be very organized. So I'll be working on that. I would guess you may or might be Seventh-day Adventist, most of the medical facilities in Butte County. Is that 
if you can, Paradise or Seventh Day Adventist. Uh, no, I'm not Seventh Day Adventist. No, I'm not. Um, Buko chandelier only costs forty dollars. Their proprietary candles are twenty-seven for a twenty-pack. Oh, interesting. Oh, so Jeff, you have the same Chinese heater. A blizzard in New York is a dis is a dusting in Minnesota. Oh, dang, that's too cold. Yeah, where is fake freedom? I just wonder about the election. Is everybody happy with Biden? Europe is very happy. So on this channel, we don't really dip into politics because it could be very heated and we like to keep things friendly here. Um, so I'm sure there's some people here that are happy with it and some that are probably not very happy with it. But my only thing is just to be kind to one another, no matter where you stand on that. I saw they sold some old work electrical boxes at Home Depot. So we got the, the boxes already. Uh, many here are very happy. Yes. When to save your PayPal page. Thank you. Um, TikTok bombed. That sounds cartoonish to me. <laughs> have you been to Burning Man? I have not been to Burning Man. I don't think I'm going to go to Burning Man. Not because I can't handle like being out in the desert. But it's kind of a little. I mean as far as I know. I've never been. But from the pictures and stuff. It's kind of. I'm not putting anybody down. But I feel like it's kind of sexualized. And I know that's part of the freeing spirit. And the free. Free free whatever. Um, I think I've just not, I'm not really into that kind of thing. So I don't think I would do that, but you never know. You never know. Hey, Nellie, how are you? It's been windy, cold and dark all day here. Uh, Wisconsin, typical predicted same for broad dang. Um, hey, Russell, how are you? Okay. Hey, PDX trailer guy. How are you? Hey, Chris. No, it's not over. We just kind of got started. Okay. Let's see. I would buy a gas parking heater so I can, it can run a fuel tank. Okay. We well, have solar panels on your band roof. Yes. I already have three solar panels mounted on the, on the roof. Any advice on insulation for ceiling working on it today? Um, so I'm using, it's called Havelock wool. Uh, it's sheep's wool. Um, and I think it's fairly affordable in my opinion. And I just needed to get one big, uh, I, I could probably show you when I go back to show you guys the van. I got one huge bundle of it. Um, I forget it was like, man, I don't make this up probably like $150. Um, and so, well, for the ceiling, you probably have to do like a little spray glue and then just put it up, but they come in bats and you could just rip it off. Um, I personally like that because it's non-toxic and it supposedly has a really great R value to like keep everything insulated. So that's my opinion, but there's a bunch of things, you know, that you could use. Um, hey, Rhea, how are you? I'm glad you made it in. Um, Chris, I was talking about, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, let's see. My friend goes to Burning Man every year. Not a lot of clothing going on there. They are all free. Yeah, I'm not. I'm all for being free, whatever you want to do. But I just don't think I. It's not even the fact that I. Like I'm not. I don't know. Like I'm not a prude or anything. Like I don't care if people want to be half naked or all naked. I just don't personally. I'm not gonna be out there doing that. That's just not my cup of tea. Yes, the main thing is to realize the vote is false. Okay, that's more election stuff. We're going to skip over because everyone's very divided. So I don't want to go down that road. Hey, Debbie, how are you? I'm so glad. Thank you. I'm 65 and ready to van life. Awesome. I'm 47 and just getting into van life. So I don't think it's ever too late. Uh, we are a little bit more open in Europe. Yeah, I think Europe is a lot more open, but I don't know. Okay, let's see. I can see you stringing fairy lights around the inside. I thought about it, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm making spaghetti. Ooh, the kind with gluten and all the bad stuff with cheese. Uh, yeah. So uh, I don't know what I'm having for dinner, but this week, it, let's talk about snacks. Let's just move into snacks because um, I don't know. It's because it's cold and I just feel like comfort food, but this week, I went ham on some nachos. I kept having nachos so many times. Um, and I put all the stuff on it, like 
vegan meat crumbles, black beans, avocado, and then like, but I put real cheese, um, not vegan cheese. But it came back to bite me because usually I'll eat it with some ranch dressing. But this time I went like heavy on the ranch dressing and I didn't take my lactate pill, which you guys may or may not know that I'm lactose intolerant. And I had the worst stomach ache, the worst earlier this week, like so bad. Like, oh my gosh, I played myself so hard with that. And so I'm like, okay, you got to get off these nachos. And then today my mom and dad went to Del Taco and they're like, you want something? And I was like, I'll take some chili cheese fries. <laughs> so I guess I didn't learn my lesson. <laughs> um, but they were pretty good. But I don't know what I'm having for dinner yet. I never really wanted to go either. I think we're all having spaghetti. I'm too old to get naked and I live alone. <laughs> um, let's see. I want to try your favorite donuts. Oh, um, Five Daughters Donuts is my favorite donuts. Five Daughters. It's in uh, <clears throat> Nashville, Atlanta, and I think somewhere in Florida. They're delicious. My favorite. Every time we start talking about food, I almost always eat what we talk about the following week, the chicken and dumplings. So, oh, did you get chicken and dumplings? I never got them. My American friend from Florida sent me a care package with a bunch of stuff we can't get here in Canada. So I'm snacking on Cheez-Its. I love Cheez-Its. I just had French bread pizza. Yum. I had a, a delicious margarita pizza this week. It was very delicious. Is that DiGiorno like flat um, or flatbread? Uh, or thin crust, I should say. Um, I love snacks. I wish we would have Costco in Sweden. <laughs> uh, you need a hug for your stomach ache. Oh, thank you so much, Eve. Yeah, I did need a hug. That, like, you know, sometimes I get like a light stomach ache, you know, but this time it was like painful. I couldn't even sleep. It was terrible. I was like, okay, you should not have done that. It's all of the work you're doing on the van that is increasing your, oh yeah, that's probably true. That's probably true. Um, can't snack for a while. Lost 12 pounds in a couple of weeks. Oh, oh, pancreatitis. Oh no. All right, well, prayers for a healing on that. I had the pre-dumpling chicken because dumplings weren't, we, oh dang. I just ate a salad. Good for you, Grady. Here in the Southeast, oops. States, we use a cap full of Wesson oil and fresh squeezed lemon juice, then salt and pepper. Oh, interesting. A lot of people are insulating now with poly fleas because it's hydrophobic, like advanced RV, 250K RVs. Oh, interesting. I did not know that. <laughs> uh, what's my favorite snack? Oh my gosh. I like a lot of snacks, but um, probably chips and salsa or chips and guacamole. Cause I could eat like, I could just keep eating it. Like just keep eating it and like feel, just keep getting full off of that. And also I really love goldfish crackers. Um, and of course I love cookies. That's like my favorite. I uh, just did three nights in the van out in downtown Portland. Oh, really? Finding out I need a bigger battery supply. No issue with heating. Oh, what battery do you have right now? What is the what is the best to buy at Costco? I don't go to Costco a lot because I'm just a solo person so, and they sell like big things, but one of their one of the favorite things that I get there is these um oh, I haven't gotten them for so long, but I used to eat them every day. They're um they're like the Chinese dumplings. They're like pork dumplings with vegetables and they come with the sauce and everything. Mm, it's so good. Oh, poly fleece. I was like, fleas? People are using like live bugs in their van? <laughs> um, oh, I lost my place. Pasta pizza. Overcooked pasta this week. To rescue it, we washed it in eggs, breadcrumbs, and Parmesan, then baked for 12 minutes at 450. Took the mush out of the overcooked pasta, put a crisp on it. Ooh, that sounds good. I've had um, macaroni and cheese pizza before, and it was delicious. So Pasta pizza, 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 pasta sounds good. That's a great pen pal to have. <laughs> you also need to tell us about your favorite coffee. I know you love Tim, Tim Hortons for sure, 
but I want to know your other favorite brand. My favorite brand of hot coffee that just to make here at the house or when I'm on the road is um, Seattle's Best, but it's got to be the breakfast blend. And I've probably talked about this before on the channel, but where I live right now, currently with my parents, we can't get breakfast blend. You can get it on Amazon, but they overcharge for it. So whenever I go to San Diego, I just go into like their Target or their Ralph's grocery store and I pick up like five bags. Um, when I'm on the road and it's just me, because right now it's me and my dad that drink the coffee, but when I'm on the road, one bag of that breakfast blend will last me like a month because I just have one cup, actually do like a half a cup. So it's, that's my favorite. I also like Starbucks coffee, but I, you know, I don't get that as much cause it's expensive. Um, yeah, I hope I don't have pancreatitis either. Hey day. How are you? I'll never know if that really works or not. Hey Kels, how are you? Kels has an amazing channel. You guys should definitely be following Kels Acosta's channel. His channel has been just like growing and he's been trying new things, but um, he's also focused really a lot on travel as well. And his editing is just so good. And we're going to do a collab in the future. And I'm going to really be on you, Kels, to like teach me some of your editing techniques because I think my editing's pretty good, but yours is a lot better. So um, everybody follow his channel. Oh, PB&J for dinner, Chris. I love PB&J. Do you have any updates on your brand? Hey, Mark, how are you? Uh, I do. And we're going to go outside in a little bit and I'm going to show you. Um, so I'm excited because there's a lot this week. Like we've really done a lot. So I'm very excited about this. Um, why did you get into van life? I got into van life. I'm going to just give you the brief story because I know a lot of you already know this. Um, so basically I tried living in my car. Um, which worked out well. I did that for like, I don't know, four months. Um, and then when I came back because of coronavirus, I was like preparing for my next journey to go out in my car. Um, but I started to think like, this is actually a lifestyle that I enjoy. So maybe I should consider getting a van already. It wasn't It wasn't something I had planned to do right now, but I guess just the timing at all, kind of just with coronavirus and like, knowing I wanted to upgrade and have a bathroom and like a place to put food and stuff. I was like, I guess now would be as good of time as any um, to get a van and start that. So I got a passenger van. Um, I didn't want to spend the money on um, like a, a transit or like a sprinter. Sprinters are just out of my price range, but I just wanted to start with a passenger van. And so that's kind of why I got into van life and that's, and we'll see because I haven't been out in my van yet, but I think it's gonna be fun. That seven layer dip that people make is wicked good. That is delicious, the seven layer dip, except I don't really like sour cream that much. So I'd leave that off. Would you invest in a deep freeze freezer for your van to store food long-term for extended travel on the road, just in case we have another lockdown? I hear grocery stores will close on Thanksgiving. I don't think I would do a deep freeze because I, I, I don't know for sure, but I think a deep freeze might draw a lot of energy. Also, I don't, it probably seems like I do eat a lot, but I don't eat a lot especially when I'm traveling on the road. Um, and I can eat very minimally and be fine. And I don't think that grocery stores are ever going to fully close. I could be naive to that fact, but I think there's going to always be places where you can get food. So I think I would not do that. But in California, Washington and Oregon, I think I heard, well, for sure, California, we're going into a more se severe or serious lockdown again. Like they're doing the, the whole 14 day quarantine uh, right before Thanksgiving. And so I don't know what's going to happen. So it's a lot going on over here in California and things are more expensive. So crazy. Also, I don't know if you guys have seen this meme, but like there's a lot of restaurants. I'm sorry. We don't talk about politics, but this one thing chaps my hide. There's a lot of restaurants that have outdoor seating and a lot of the restaurants now I've been seeing have been enclosing their outdoor area with like the plastic. So you can't sit inside the restaurant, but you could sit outside inside the enclosure. <laughs> to me, I'm like, how are people like not thinking this is ridiculous? It's, I don't understand the logic about 
some of the things that people are doing. It's, I know a lot of it is like government, like you have to do what the government says, but for these restaurants, they're trying to stay in business, but also like, it doesn't make sense to me. You're sitting, you can't sit inside. You can't, and then like, also like some places are open, like you can go to casinos, but you can't go to church. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's just crazy. It's just like a lot going on. And that's just like so weird to me. Okay. Sorry. I got off on a tangent there for a second. Um, whoa, I have to scroll back. Okay. Um, no issues with heating in downtown Portland. A lot of fires on the streets. Oh, dang. Um, dude, I'm eating chips and guacamole right now. Oh, dude, that sounds so good. In Sweden, you don't eat snacks besides Friday or Saturday. Our children never have snacks or anything unhealthy on weekdays. So boring. Annika, that's funny that you said that because when I was um, raising my kids, I had a rule personally where we would not do desserts during the week and we would only get desserts on the weekends because, you know, I loved sweets and it was more for also for me, including my kids too, but also I didn't want them to have sweets like every day, but I think it's a kind of good rule. Yes. Jeff Jones, pot stickers. That's what I meant. Not dumplings, pot stickers. That's the thing to get at Costco. They're delicious. Panera bread has great hazelnut co cream coffee. Ooh, I like Panera bread, but I've tried their coffee. I don't love it, but I don't know if I've tried the hazelnut. So I'll have to try that again. Currently using a Lion Energy Lion Energy lithium battery, but looking at possibly switching to Battleborn 100 amp hours, maybe two if I can justify that. So I would love to have a lithium battery, but those lithium batteries are like $1,000. So I, that wasn't in my budget. I live 50 miles from Seattle. Do you want me to send you some? <laughs> no, but actually, Mike, when I was in Seattle and Washington, I could not find breakfast blend. No joke. Seattle's best. Didn't have Seattle's best breakfast blend when I was traveling. So I don't know what's up there. San Diego is way, way, way south. California, yes. Way south. Tim Hortons versus, versus Dutch Bros. Thoughts, anyone? I don't know about everybody else, but I've only had Dutch Bros once. Um, I feel like I need to try more flavors to give a good assessment. So right now I'm going to stick with Tim Hortons, hands down. Yes, everybody follow Kells. Uh, I'm a fan of Tim Hortons too, but right now we can't get to Canada by in, to buy any. Mm. One bag of coffee would last me a lifetime. I mean, that's, you know, for a solo person, if you don't drink a lot of coffee, I think so. How many gall gallons of water are you going to be using in your van? I have an 18 gallon fresh water tank and a 10 gallon gray water tank, which I'll be emptying more often. Kita, yes, with the tacos. Dutch Bros is adequate to be my favorite. Awesome. Uh, yes, hit the like button. Thank you so much, Grant. Ooh, 37 likes already. Thank you, guys. Yes. Uh, my dad would take a load of cheese to Cali and return with avocados. Yes. I love avocado toast as well, but I'm not paying $9 for avocado toast. A lot of these places out here in California have lost their minds with that. Uh, yeah, I have to place the kitchen where I have my kid. <laughs> you guys are making me hungry. I'm coming to your kitchen, Annika. Um, lost my place. Hey, DJ B. Wells. Wells is a Wells BJ, DJ B. Wells. How are you? I haven't seen you here in a long time. So welcome back. I went from van to cargo trailer, seven by 12. I've been working at it, finished putting in window. Oh, that's cool. I do want to come to Sweden. So whenever I come, I'll let everybody know to get snacks ready. I love sour cream and buttermilk and cottage cheese and ricotta cheese. I don't like any of those things. <laughs> Although I wouldn't mind trying some of those things again. I do like the sour cream dip. So, but you know, that's a different thing. I've been working from home since March in Cali. Oh, dang. Washington is still open, not on lockdown. Oregon is going into lockdown. Okay. They went back to a stage two in Idaho. Wow. It's crazy. Enclosed areas are dangerous. Time to hit the road before they lock us in. I know. I need to get out. I agree. And miss going to Sizzler. They closed the Sizzler. Um, where I'm at. So we don't have that anymore. <laughs> Wanda agrees with my tangent. Uh, Whack-a-mole. <laughs> if someone wants to send me some snacks, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, 
Um, let's see. Eve, I'll send you some of Allison's favorite. Oh, wait, I lost the place. Snacks. Moon no, I don't like moon pies. <laughs> Eve knows, though. I've been working from home since April. Yeah, I think a lot of people have gotten on that work from home train since COVID. Even snacks like chips for lunch. Our kids eat the free school. Oh, interesting. Did you say you were 47? I am 47. Hard to believe you look like you're in your 20s. So nice. I'll look for breakfast blend next time I am in the store. I'll let you know. Yes, please do. We can get it. It's just not like, it's not close by. Like we can't just pop over to any store. I haven't seen it in any stores. Um, but I don't know. Not any stores like locally. Uh, Jeff says, I have two Lion Energy batteries thinking about adding some battle board. Oh, awesome. If you have to go to the hospital for one night, how much does that cost? Oh, dang. Well, I don't know about everybody's states, but like it really depends on what happens to you in the hospital. Like if like they charge you for everything, like band-aids, tissue, gauze, whatever, everything adds up on a bill and it could be very, very, very expensive. Like it could be like thousands of dollars if you go to the hospital. You should, you always try not to go to the hospital because it's just so expensive, even with insurance. I'm planning on going to Arizona after Christmas. Oops, lost my place. If they'll let me in. Oh, awesome. I'm planning to go to Texas after Thanksgiving. So hopefully they'll let me in. Um, we pay about $15 a night at the $15 a night at the hospital. I would just be staying in the hospital. I'd be like, do you guys have food? Like, oh, can I get a bed? Because it's cold outside. $15. 15 but like that's so cheap no there's no 15 dollar hospitals that i know of unless you're going to like a clinic or something i don't even know that's that's outrageous uh it depends on if you have insurance true are you going to pre put a wood yes i'm going to put a wood ceiling i'm going to do the tongue and groove i was going to do slats but i think i'm going to do tongue and groove hey miss jacques 99 sadly the governor of florida doesn't care and it is pretty lax here oh interesting because I, I don't know what's happening all over all the states, but I know in California they're going back on a serious lockdown. Have you considered putting in a security system in your family? I have considered it, and I haven't gotten to that yet because I'm trying to get everything inside finished. Um, but I'm not sure. It's just something I need to think through a little bit more because I do want to have some security measures in place. Um, oops. Deep fried moon pies are super delicious. I, I've never tried deep fried moon pies, but maybe they're better. Maybe I'll like those better. $15 without insurance. That is still crazy to me. Some Indian garlic naan bread with dal lentils and a mango lassi. Ooh, that sounds good. You Canadians and your free healthcare and your sensible shoes, <laughs> Grant. I had a four day hospital stay last summer when the bills started coming in. I went into a business office and got a bill forgiven by, Oh, okay. That's interesting. Uh, BC Canada is free. Oh, dang. Hey Lamont. How are you? Um, usually the hospital financial office will work with you. Um, for all of you guys that uh, don't know, you guys can say hi to Lamont. Lamont is my ex-husband. <laughs> Hey, Stavros P. How are you? I like your little dabbing emoji. $15 includes food and sometimes you even stay free. I love free. What hospital bill and what they collect from insurance are two different things. Yeah, exactly. I stay safe and healthy. Um, I've been on the road 15 years. Uh, I've been on the road 15 years, pull a casita trailer, 17 foot, love hunting down new gear. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Eve's like, oh. <gasps> I have two ex-husbands. This is my last ex-husband. Uh, everybody's like shocked. <laughs> what? It's crazy. Um, all right, let's talk about, we're gonna circle back to heat and this is something that I got. Um, Lamont was a much loved character on Sanford and Son. Dun, 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 dun. Is that Sanford and Son? Dun, 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 dun. That was a good show, too. You be busy, girl. <laughs> Not anytime recently. This was years ago. 
What up, Kendra from Chef Life, Van Life, another channel you guys should be subscribed to. Uh, Aunt Esther, yes. Elizabeth, I'm coming to get you, honey. That was funny. That show was really funny. Okay, so this week I was, well, I was reached out to by a company um, last week and got it all coordinated. And this week they sent me this <laughs> rechargeable hand warmer. And the company is Okupa. Um, they were very nice. And they sent me this hand warmer. They saw some of my videos, especially the ones... Um, about you know staying warm in the car so i haven't tried this yet so i thought i would do like a little slight unboxing and just show you this hand warmer um because you know i don't, I don't think this is by any means gonna like warm my whole van up but like you know you just like if you're outside you need warm hands or even you could put this down by your feet at night i don't know how it's gonna work but we're gonna give it a try and I have a coupon code for you guys if you like this and if I like this. And I told them I would tell the honest truth on all products that I review. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's pretty, it's like, it looks like a mouse and it's fits nicely in your hands. Um, it comes with a, like a little wrist strap and it's a rechargeable, so you can just charge it up in an outlet or whatever, or a USB plug. Um, but I thought it'd be cool to show you guys. Oh, and it, it actually came with um, a little bag, a little like carrying bag as well. So I think it feels pretty substantial. It's got a good weight to it. Comes like a nice, like nice little box. Um, let me read the comments before we get popping, and I'm gonna try this. I'm fortunate that I have the VA. They care. Oh, VA, yeah, that's good. Chef Life has a great channel. She did a great video answering the ten. I didn't see the video. Was it the ten questions, or was it the forty questions? Did you do it, Kendra? Because I didn't see it. If so, I'm gonna go watch it after this live stream. It looks like a giant nine volt battery, yeah. Um, yes, I know, I've been getting reached out to by a lot of companies in the past couple weeks. So I think I'm gonna start doing a couple reviews, but I always, I always write back to these people say, listen, if I do something like on the live stream or in a video, beware because I am gonna be like, if I don't like it, I mean, I'm gonna say, cause I don't want people to be buying stuff that's I don't like. Uh, oh, the box. Yay! Let us know if you'd like the hand warmer. If it, it gets whole, cold in the Midwest, warm your whole van up. No, this is not going to warm my whole van up. Um, What did I think that would be? Why did I think it, that would be a glove? <laughs> you need a little, I need a nose warmer. They need to make this in a mini nose warmer version. It does look like a mouse. I have something like that. They work very well. Um, I always buy everything with USB now. It does look like a mouse, okay. Oh gosh, I didn't see your video. I'm gonna have to watch that after. So definitely watch th that video if you guys are gonna see it before me because I didn't get to see it. So I'm excited to watch that after this live stream. I have more issue with my feet getting cold in my hands. What do they have besides socks? Uh, show me the money. Yeah, show me the money. Okay, so I guess I, and I was gonna unbox it like right on here. But I thought, and I'm glad I did, I thought enough to open it and you have to charge it fully for the first time before you try it. So I did charge this before the live stream. Um, it takes, it said two to three hours to fully charge. I just had it charging since this morning. So let's give it a try. So when it's charging, these little three dots you probably can't see, um, they're blue. And so once all three dots are like blue, then it's fully charged. Um, I did get a couple alerts and I'm gonna, talk about the alerts in a second because I know some of you guys have made donations so thank you and I'm going to talk about that in a second okay so it, apparently it says you're supposed to click this button or hold it for five seconds so let's see what happens one two three four oh four seconds so this is level one and there's apparently three level oh it's already getting hot Okay, you guys know those like little like packet hand warmers? 
I thought I saw one because I do have some. It's kind of like that where you feel like just a little bit of heat on your hands. I want to see how hot it gets. I'm only on level one and I could already feel it. This would be nice in your pocket. Like if you had like one of those hoodies that has the like hand part and you put your hand in that, that would be real nice. Let's see. I'm going to read these comments. What happened to your invention for keeping your nose warm? I thought that was going to blow up the market. I haven't finished that one yet because I, I had to stop living in my car because of COVID. So ooh, this is getting warm and I'm only on level one. Dude. This might be pretty dope. I'm not even kidding. I don't know what's, it looks like it would be better than the packet that this so far is better. And those packet hand warmers that you get at the dollar store or Walmart, they have a slight like order to them, which is not bad, but you know, it's just weird. And it, they, they don't last super, super long. This is pretty warm. Like this is okay. So this is like a, like holding a warm cup of coffee or tea, like a mug. So it's like, I'm just imagining holding like hot chocolate. It feels just like that. Okay. Let's pop it up to the next level. Oops. Oh yeah. There we go. Okay. So it's just one click. Let's see. This is really cool. This is warm. I'm not even kidding. How much is it? It was, I think it's like $36. This is the one that's, um, oh, it's also a phone charger. You can charge your phone. It's a 10,000 MAH. Ooh, this is getting hot. So like the two edges aren't super hot. It's just this like gray part and they do have different colors. Ooh, I like this. I'm excited about this. Let's see. They have different cap battery capacities. Like this one is a 10,000 mAh. They have like 9,000, 7,000, blah, blah. This one is, okay. Okay, it says that the three heat levels, I think it's 95 degrees Fahrenheit to 131. Let's go to the next level. This one's pretty warm. Let's see. Oops, let me just do this. Did it do it? Oh, yes. Okay, this is getting really warm. I feel like though I'd probably want two of these and I'm, I probably wouldn't spend $70 for two of these, but I'm not gonna be greedy, you know, in terms of like, I think it's pretty still warm. I mean, if you had your hands in your pockets with this thing, this is warm. This is getting very warm on my hands, like hot. Did you put this down by your feet under the blankets? Yes. Oh, let me get you guys the code. If you guys want to, let me see. She sent me the code. Oh, let me scroll back because we've emailed a lot about this. Oh, this is, this is hot to the point. Like I can't even hold it. Um, okay. Here's the code. So this code is for the hand warmer. Oops. This will give you 10% off. This is the code. I'm typing it in here. if you guys want to get one or try it. I don't get, there's no, I don't think there's any affiliate. She didn't talk about affiliate anything. So I don't think I'm getting any money off it. This is very actually hot. Like, I don't think I could just like hold this like this for very much longer. So I think at level three, you're probably just gonna wanna like leave it in a pocket and maybe have your hands near it um, or put it in like a sock or something. Um, but this thing is legit. Like, I'm not even mad at this thing. All right. I think this is a hit. I think I would give this a uh, stamp of travel snacks approval. Um, especially, oh, okay. I wonder if you could put this in this bag and keep it in the bag. I don't think it's going to light on fire, right? Because this might make it just bearable enough. Oh, yeah, this is nice. All right. Well, we've talked a lot about this. Um, but this, that code that I just pasted in, um, I think she said it's good for a week. So if you guys want to get one of these, then get it. But I think it's a hit. 
Um, I think this is great, especially if you're walking around outside in the cold. Because I plan on, like, when I get out of my van, I'm going to try to walk at least a mile a day. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of times where it's going to be cold outside and I'm not going to want to do that. But I think if I have something like this and I'm walking and I have my beanie on and stuff, I think this would be a good thing. Let me turn this thing off before I just let it run while I'm talking. So I think you just one, two. Yeah. Okay. So it turned off in like three or four seconds. All right. So this is very cool. If I get any more stuff, I'll let you guys know. But I think that was a good a hit. Okay. We talked about that. Um, let's see. What time is it? Okay. All right. They get really hot on full. Yeah, it was very hot. I used the lighter fluid version for the hand warmer at last 18 to 20 hours and it gets so hot that I need to take out of my, yeah, exactly. Would be good on in your armpits during super cold outdoor temps. I've never heard of putting a heater in my armpits, but I think that'd probably burn if I had it on high. A warm cup of coffee, that's pretty warm. How long will it last? Uh, let's see. Um, I don't know. I think she probably told me and I forgot, but I think it lasts pretty long. Like, let me see. I'll look it up and I'll, I'll tell you guys next time, but I think it lasts for several hours. It's not like a short 15 minutes. I think it's hours. Uh, my hands be staying cold. Me too. My hands are always cold. How much for the hand warmer? It was, I think it was like $36, but they have other versions, like $32. They're on a $30 range. And this is like the newest one, I think they said. So I don't know. I think it's a good deal. In the old days, they used to send kids out with freshly baked potato to keep their hands from getting cold. That's a smart idea. Um, does it give you usage hours? Um, and they have colors too. They do have different colors. They had like red, blue, gray, white, and black. Um, thank you, Grady. Milliamp hours. Yes. How long on one charge? Could you? Oops. I missed it. Uh oh, I lost my place. Could you put it in your pillow near your face to keep your face warm? I think you could. Uh, I think you could probably do that. Maybe on like low and medium, I'd probably do that, but probably not on high. They've been having them on Amazon Lightning deals. Uh, it's a discharge rate. Okay. Hey, Matthew, how are you? 131, be careful with that. Yeah, exactly. Um, I put the link. Uh, let me put the link again. Oops. Oh, no, I didn't put the link. Hold on. Hold on. I will get it for you. Let me see. I just put the code, but I didn't put the the link. So let me give you that. Go. Um, it says it says fifteen hours eating time. So fifteen hours is a long time when you're cold. Okay, that's the link and that's the code. Um, I'd like to check that out. It gets so cool here. Yeah, I like it. I'm glad I got this. Need a microwave in the van and a couple of rice bags. Ooh, that'd be nice too. Hey, Gavin from London. That's another place I want to go. That reminds me of a hand warmers during deer hunting here in Wisconsin. Hunting starts next Saturday. Have you tried venison? I'm not a fan. I don't know. I might have tried venison, but I don't, I don't remember if I did. You said hot chocolate, so I had to go make a mug. Oh, now I want hot chocolate. If I had one of those, I wouldn't lose it. I would find it under my cat. I'm sure a cat would love that. Hey, quirky girl. Uh, welcome to the snack pack. 
Thank you so much. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, <laughs> which cat, the one in my lap? Uh, let's see. The name is Michelle. The name is uh, Okupa. And it's the rechargeable hand warmer. And I think it was good. I like it. Um, Eve, so I have a Travel Snacks Amazon page that I just got approved for like in the last month. And so I'm trying to like stock all the things that I approve or I like into different folders on that page so that it's easy to like navigate um, because I want to put everything for like the van build in one like folder and everything like this kind of stuff in one folder. So it's easier for people to see. So I will put everything that I would approve. Um, and maybe I'll make a list too separately, but I think that'd be easy to look up. So I'll be getting that together in the next few weeks. Maybe buy two in uh, sew pockets to hold them in your armpits. Okay, awesome. They work good for warming up the bed or sleeping bag. Yeah, I am going to start making some more videos of these products too um, once I get back out on the road. You need a custom wrap of travel snacks upon your van. Uh, I would do that except for I like to stay like more stealthy and I don't want people to know I'm in my van when I'm traveling. You can make the rechargeable hand warmer last longer and make it safely get hotter by putting it inside some woolen socks. Be sure to preheat the socks in a microwave. Oh, awesome. Okay, let's see. Oops, went back too far. Um, okay, so I put the link, so I see a lot of you are asking for the link, so I put the link, so if you guys didn't see it, let me know and I'll put it again. Cold hands, warm heart, very true. Hey, little Dave, how are you? I'm so glad you guys are enjoying all this. Okay, let's see. Okay, it looks like Ellison has half a wing. I know, when I first started, I was like, oh, this looks interesting. I'm like half of an angel, which is kind of accurate. <laughs> oh, I thought only, okay. By the way, we're gonna, I think it would be good on your feet. I think so. Hey, Joel, how are you? Welcome to the live stream. Okay, let's see. I noticed the one wing too. Thanks for getting an Amazon page together. Yes, thank you. Dirty Shoes Adventures, how are you? I'm glad you're here. Uh, will you be distancing on Thanksgiving? I'm gonna be here with my parents and my one of my sons is gonna come here um, because I'm pretty sure I'm leaving the day after Thanksgiving, but we'll see with the van build. Okay. Yes, I don't want people to know I'm in my van because that's, I just like to keep a little more private on the road. Oh, you got it? Awesome. <clears throat> For the love of Oklahoma, Trish Gatches. That's a long name. I'm going to call you Trish. Hopefully that's okay. I will wait until Grant says hello before I say hello. <laughs> uh, awesome. Um, awesome. Yeah, don't forget to drop in the uh, in the description. Okay, I will. <clears throat> I'll drop it in the description after this is over. Um, show me your feet. No, thanks. Um, I just snuck over and saw a pic of your kitchen stuff. How exciting. Yes. How's your dad's thumb? My dad's thumb is doing great. Um, it's a lot better. He doesn't have a lot of feeling in the tip of the thumb because of the, um, because of the nerves, nerve damage, but he can still work. It's like fully healed and everything's great. So thank you for sure for that. Okay, so let me check my notifications. Uh, oh, there's a note, this is exciting. Okay, it says, keep me anonymous, but call it a challenge donation because I'll match the next $20 in donations. So it's a $20 donation, which I'm not going to say the name because it's anonymous. Ooh, I've never done this before. It's exciting. Keep it anonymous, but call it a challenge donation. I'll match the next 20 in donations. Ooh, okay. So there's a challenge. Someone's issued a challenge for donations. And then um, let me make sure. I should read these 
<clears throat> notifications before I like ramble them out because I would have missed that. Oh, Deborah Kennedy, thank you, Debbie. Thank you so much for the ten dollars donation. Thank you for that. The snack fund is alive and well. Thank you so much. Let me give the shout outs. Uh, let's see. First, I'll do this anonymous one. Oh, that's too low. That's for the anonymous challenge donation. And then this one is for Debbie. Thank you guys so much. You guys are so awesome. I love this community. You guys are so fun and, and like this, like what a cool thing. Like that's just a smart thing to do and I love it. Okay. Um, let me get back to the chat. Uh, Chef life, one winged wonder woman. <laughs> You're leaving after Thanksgiving. If the, yeah, if the California overlords uh, let us leave. Yeah. Exactly. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see what happens after that. Um, for the love, but I'm still leaving. Like I will dip my van over the state lines. I'll be like, I don't know. I'm just going to keep driving. Hopefully I don't get arrested. That'll be my first arrest. And I wouldn't want to have that for the love of Oakland, but that will be a good video. If I got arrested and I filmed it, I don't want to do that though. So let's not put that on <laughs> for the love of Oklahoma is the name of my Facebook. Oh, okay. 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 Your dad's the best. Like my dad. Oh, awesome. I snuggle with my Labrador. Oh, she has like a warm blanket. That is awesome. Nevada is threatening to require travel passes. I can't with that. Yeah. My dad and mom are great. And my dad's been like such a trooper through all this. Hey, Terry, how are you? Uh, love it. Awesome. Wow, you'd be Thelma and Louise and Allison. <laughs> they can, exactly. That would be a bit extreme getting, yeah, that's too extreme for my taste. But I mean, I feel like I need to get out. Um, hold on one second. I'm getting another notification. Let's see. Sometimes my phone is slow. Uh, do your job, phone. Oh, let's see. Oh, thank you so much, Terry. Terry hit with the 25. So that's, that's in the challenge. So I guess challenge accepted and she just took it there. She just went for it. Thank you so much, Terry. Terry's been such a strong supporter of the channel as well. So let's give, oh, let's do this one it's called Slots. Thank you so much. You guys are so amazing and I appreciate every one of you. All right, let's, um, let's see. Let me read this real quick. I don't want to get arrested, no. Uh, checks Mix. I doubt that any law enforcement officers will seriously be get arrested. Yeah, maybe not. This is still a free country. Well, yeah, hopefully. The only thing they're going to be able to film during an arrest is the cops saying the words, you're being placed under arrest. After that, you're handcuffs at that station. That's true. That is true. Uh, this is what's going on overseas. Government advisors suggest giving COVID-free Brits permission wristband. What? That's crazy. I'll probably be leaving next week. Flagstaff, Grand Canyon, Page, then up to Idaho. Oh, awesome. You're going up north. That's going to be colder. Nothing wrong with uh, Terry. Yes, exactly. Do you have Native American in you? I don't think so. I never took one of those tests. Um, my dad swears he has Native American in his family, which I guess would mean I do too, but I don't think we've had those tests done, so I can't really confirm. I do know that I'm German and French for sure just from like my family's comings and goings um, and ification. Uh, yeah, no, I don't want to get arrested. That'd be terrible. Yes. Okay. Um, let's see. All right. So um, 
let me take you guys outside and show you all the stuff that happened this week on the van. Uh, I am going to give my van a name. I haven't decided 100% on the name yet, so I'll let you guys know. I've been keeping a list. A lot of you guys have had really good names, um, so we'll see. You can go anywhere in Montana and South Dakota, however it's cold. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so this week, um, real quick, two minutes uh, story. Um, I know you guys have known that I've been trying to get rid of a lot of stuff and declutter my room and stuff. So I've made some good progress on that. And I've been shredding a lot of things like yearbooks and um, scrapbooks and stuff. I took pictures of everything that I wanted to like keep um, in my computer. Um, so do you guys still have your yearbooks? I'd like to know because I just got rid of my last yearbook and I feel kind of free about it, you know, like freeing, like letting things go. Um, but I shredded a lot of stuff, so I'm getting rid of everything. Um, are you going, okay, let's see. Call it moon pie. <laughs> I kind of like Eileen. I do too. I'm thinking about possibly keeping that, but I'm not sure. I love this group. I love you guys too. We'll move over to your channel and set up residence. Call the enterprise van edition. Call it the enterprise van edition. Yes. You should do a live stream. Yes. Chef life should do a live stream. I would be part of that. Hey, Kita, thank you so much. $4 in the house. Where'd my phone go? Thank you so much. Let's give you, oops. Let's give you, um, this one's called xylophone. Thank you so much. High school, yes, college, no. They made it a CD-ROM that year. What is this for? Hey, Ray J. What is this for? This live stream? Well, we talk about travel and food, so that's pretty much what it's about. I still have my yearbook. Um, I can tell how many years old it is by the amount of dust it's collected. That is why it's called a yearbook. Yes. I still have a yearbook somewhere. Uh, I'll love you guys too. Um, I still have my yearbooks. They don't take up much space just in case I forget who I am. I still have my yearbooks for 1982. Uh, I graduated in 91. Um, I've digitized a bunch. Now Google is changing their storage rules. So time to put it all on thumb drive. Yes. Um, Okay, let's see. Shoot. During my yearbook days, there were no CDs. Yeah, same. Um, yeah, I don't have, uh, I've, I got rid of like a lot of my yearbooks and then I kept one, like my graduation year one. And then I just got rid of it this week. So that's what's up. I don't feel bad about it though, because I mean, I felt okay letting it go. Okay, I'm going to take, I guess I'm not going to take anything. I'm trying to see if there's anything I need to show you here that I ordered because I've been ordering so much stuff. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what's going on with the van. Do you wanna say hi, dad? Everybody say hi to my dad. Oh, you're like in the light. I'm coming from the light. Well, that's good. It's better than going towards the light and leaving. Oh, and look. I have a news flash for everybody. Just get back from Walmart. Zero toilet paper, zero paper towels. Went to Dollar General. They're almost out too. So just beware. Oh, dang. Okay. So as I mentioned, California is going back on lockdown. So I guess people have gone crazy again with toilet paper. So if you're in California or a place that's going on lockdown, you might want to... I don't know. You don't need like 50 pounds of toilet paper, but whatever. Well, when there's none, you can't. Ah. Yeah. Well, make sure you have at least some toilet paper. Um, so here's a lot. Let me go back in here real quick. Taking you like on an MTV Cribs tour. Okay. So here's this section is all the stuff I'm taking to the like Goodwill. All these things right here. So that's a lot of stuff. This stuff over here is stuff that I'm trying to sell still because uh, they're things I spent money for and I don't want to just like give it away but I might have to um the other thing is I bought a faucet at Walmart 
So me and my dad were trying to find this, find a faucet that would work. And so I thought this one was going to be perfect. And then we opened it in the parking lot to see about the connectors. And look how big this thing is, because it doesn't say how tall it is on the package. Look how gigantic this thing is. That thing's not going in my van. That's like gigantic. That's for like a mansion. So that's going back. But I did get a faucet and I'll show you. Okay, so if we get cut off, just know that I'll come back to the, the live stream. Um, if we get fully, fully cut off, I'll start a new stream, but I think we're okay. Oh, it's not as cold right now. Oh, 73, but it's still like nippy. I don't know why. Okay, so let's see. First things first. Um, I think I was going to show you guys the insulation. You, you guys have probably seen um, This is the Havelock wool. It's the sheep's wool. Oh, crap. I almost fell. So it comes in this big giant bag. And, you know, we popped it open. So now it's like coming out because um, we had to already insulate one of the walls. Um, so that's what it looks like if you're interested in buying some insulation. I like it. Um, and then we have all of our stuff here that we're like trying to put together for the van. Um, I think that's it in here. Let me turn off the light because I don't want to waste energy. Or electricity, I should say. Okay. Okay, so first things first. Okay, let me read these comments real fast. <laughs> you guys are like, get to it. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's see. Graduated in 82, Van, Van, Van. Um, you two should have a name. My dad's was X1 because we lived on Highway X for his uh, CB handle. Oh, cool. What's the stream about? The stream is about travel and eating good snacks and food. Come on, Eileen. Everybody says hi to my dad. Oh, 1985 for Nelly. Hi. Uh, hey, from Scotland. Hey, Max, Max Nielsen. I do want to get to Scotland because that sounds wonderful. Um, Eve, are you okay again? Yeah. We need to send toilet paper to dad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, geez. Thankful I got some two days ago. Thanks, David. Are you in? Yes, we're in the USA and California. Here we go again with the TP. I never understood that either. Hi from Ireland. Hey, Donkey Wab, uh, W A B. I was Ireland before and it was beautiful. Thumbs up for dad. Uh, good to know. Thank you, dad, for his service. I noticed this at. Thank you, Linda. My dad was in the Navy. So, yes. Thank you very much for that. Dad is the best. I was at the store last night. So far, Northern Texas, North Texas, we are okay on TP. Okay, that's good. Uh, South Dakota is looking real good. Exactly. Walmart, uh, good grief, that's huge. The faucet, yeah. The, I opened that box and I was like, mm, yeah, that's not gonna work. You could use that for a shower head. Yeah, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> hey, David, how are you? Uh, I feel that I have a lot of stuff paid good money for and don't want to give away, but I'm going to give the stuff away. If I can't sell it, I won't miss it. Exactly. I don't understand if somebody runs out of toilet paper, use a wet rag and rinse it off, I guess. I mean, you could do that. Uh, let's see. Seen on Facebook, a guy in India is making paper from elephant dung to avoid filling, felling trees for pulp. Hmm. Be careful. Yeah, I'm almost fell, you know, tripped and broke my face. Watch the last step. It's a Lulu. Um, that doesn't look like enough insulation. So far, it's, I think it's going to be plenty of insulation um, because my van has a lot of windows. Uh, three bags full. Van time, yes. Van update. When he was like to know Lulu phrases with that Bugs Bunny. I've been doing the same minimalizing, donating, selling, air new. Yes, yes, yes. It's dark here. Okay. All right. Let's keep it moving here. Um, all that TP was wasted TPing for Halloween. Yes. Some people use sponge. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So first things first is we cut a hole in the van and put this filler thing, which I should have probably thought about this before I came outside, but this comes with two keys 
And so um, I like that it locks uh, because people, sometimes people steal these. I don't know why, but they do. So it has a lock. And so this is where I'm going to be filling my fresh water. So let me show you the fresh water. Oh. Whoa. Um, it's not connected yet, like 100%, but here's the tank. This is just the stool. Don't, that's not. Okay, so here's the 18-gallon tank. Um, and then we bought this pool hose, and that's the, um, the water filler, what it looks like from the inside. You could see, like, well, maybe you can't. I'm trying to, there's, like, a little like air pocket thingy so that it can doesn't like overflow in the van. Um, okay, so let me take you in from the other side because I think that's it for that. But this is where the exciting part happens. Okay, so we've done some work on first thing. It's dark in here, so I need to add some lights soon. Um, we put this little light in here for now just to work, but look at the fridge. The fridge is in. The fridge is in. So, okay, let me see. Uh, let me explain all these things. So we put this wall up. It's just like a five eighths board. We got the fridge in. Freezer. Fridge. So exciting. Now down here, that's where my toilet box is going to go. So let me come back down here. So the toilet box is going to slide in to that open cavity, and then I'll just pull it out to go to the bathroom and push it back. I don't think, I don't know if you guys can see far back there, but sorry, I'm trying to like maneuver into this space with my laptop. So back there, it goes back pretty far. And we had to drill a hole under the van where that black pipe is. That's going into my gray water tank down under. Um, and we just ratchet strapped this, um, this top thingy to the fridge. And then we bolted down this um, table thingy with um, L brackets. And then, whoa, to secure this refrigerator, we put these two walls up. Ow, splinter. And then we like nailed these. So that's pressing down. We got the ratchet strap in the middle. Then we have this metal L bracket that's bolted to the frame of the van. And then it's, we have this very strong, like, like solid glue that's under this lip. So we actually glued it straight to the top of the refrigerator. So this thing is like really secure. It's not going anywhere. So now I have a place for all my snacks. And we, we had this wall, we added this wall. This is just like the same thickness, but it's, I painted it black so that it's whatever. Um, so that when somebody sees it from the front, they'll just see a black wall. Um, then these aren't bolted down yet, but I, we put them in because we need to do the plumbing. But look, cabinets, you guys, cabinets. So this one, I don't like that it opens this way. So I'm going to take these things off and just turn the thing upside down and move it over here so that they both open the same way. So this opens that way. But okay, so I had to cut a hole. Let's see. Let me try to get closer. This is not as easy with holding a laptop. <laughs> so we had to cut a hole in the back. I don't know if you can even see back there. We had to cut a hole so we can bring that pipe in. We had to cut another hole for the wiring for the pump. And then we have our P-trap, which is for the sink. It's going to go back. 
Oh gosh. And then here is my sink. The sink is actually installed. Like the sink is actually in here. And then this is the faucet that I got at Home Depot, which is much better sized. It's not a pull down, but I don't think I'd have enough water pressure anyways for it to be like one of those pull down ones. But look how cool, it's just like a basic, nice thing. This is not installed in there yet. It's just kind of like sitting in there. Um, I, don't, I think I showed you guys this last week, but I got my outlet, got my countertop on there. There's a shadow but it's, it doesn't have a stain or anything. It's just a shadow. Um, what else? This is my water pump. Oh, it's heavy. It's a Seaflow water pump. Um, I also got this inline water filter which I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep yet because it was kind of expensive, but it's a, a water. This thing was like $70, but the reason I got it is because it's supposed to have a 10-year lifespan, which, you know, don't know for sure, but I won't have to replace the filter for a long time. Um, and then check this out. We got this dimmer switch cut in today so this turns it on and off like you know you've seen these before and then just a dimmer these are going to go to when I have lights up here but we just cut this hole into this cabinet today um and then back here let's see we got this rocker switch it's three rocker switches this is a 12 volt opening and a U two USBs so that this one right here is not hooked up yet but it's going to be for my ball valve my electric ball valve and what the electric ball valve does is you can empty your gray water tank which is underneath the van with just that switch so it's electric so I don't have to get out to even like unload the water um and then we cut the holes in here for that so that we can wire wire through. So there's a lot going on. We got a lot done. Now these cabinets are not like ill bracketed in, but we're getting close to that. But we had to stop because I had to get ready for the live stream and we were really like, you know, working on a lot of stuff. So I think that's it, but that's a lot of stuff installed this week. Especially, especially my fridge. So I'm very excited about that. Um, yeah, let me turn this light off. Whew. Oh, I got one more thing. I'll show you. So as you guys may or may not know, I um, painted my dash flat black and now that I've done that it really like picks up dust really quickly so I got one of these let me put this down I got one of these California dusters it was like 12 bucks and it like cleans the dash so nice these are these strands have like like a little you can't really feel it but it's like a tiny bit of wax and that's what helps pick up the dust. So I've already used this a couple times just because working in the van, it's very dusty. Um, and what I'm very excited about, I get excited about little things. But look, this fits in this little pocket. Like, perfectly. I know, it's... That's exciting to me. Oh, and then um, uh, the van is all sanded down now. So it's ready to be, pretty much ready to be painted. So I don't know if you guys remember like the last couple weeks we had like 
some of the doors done, but not all of them done, blah, blah, blah. And so now all of it's done. So it's ready to be painted. And I want to say a shout out and a thank you to my friend Ivana because she came a few weeks ago and she helped um, sand down the van and then Lamont, he came over and helped sand down the rest of the van. So um, it's been very nice to have some help, especially towards the last part of the build because we're getting like towards crunch time to get out on the road. So it's been very, very nice to get some help on that. All right. Okay. Now, let me read all these comments because you guys were going nuts when I was showing you and I couldn't really see. Um, Gavin says 73 cold. Can we swap places, please? No. <laughs> uh, hey, tell your dad to order some TP, TP from the BX. Also, live your channel. Also, thank you. Thank you, Mystic Ice Cream 27. Thank you, Grant, for being such a great moderator. As you guys know, we don't tolerate any kind of like crazy sexual talking or like, especially nothing about racism or if people start getting crazy. So Grant is my moderator and he's been doing a great job like putting people in timeouts or like just banning them if they start getting crazy. The water filler looks nice and secure. Yes, it is very secure. By the right filler hose on Amazon, okay. We have a like, we went to Home Depot like 57 times this week and we bought so many parts. Um, so I think we have everything we need so far. Um, I love it. Drum roll. Here we go. You are earning your money today, Grant. I had you be moderator just in time. I suggest a clear hose so you can see when mold starts building up from the moisture. Um, that's a good tip. Um, I'm glad you love the fridge. Yeah, the fridge is awesome. I love that fridge. It's like the perfect size. It's like for one person, it's going to hold so much. Uh, you have a separate freezer. I had to have a separate freezer because I have a lot of like, I like to have a lot of uh, frozen things. Like if I make a batch of food, I like to freeze stuff and then heat it up later. Um, yeah, pooping in the kitchen. That's fan life for you. Holy cow, how things come along. I know it's like so crazy. Um, that fridge is pretty, is pretty awesome. And I see some other cool stuff. Yes. Um, the build is looking great. So thank you guys. We did a lot this week. It's, we were been working very hard. <laughs> you mean you guys don't poop in your kitchen? Uh, thank you guys for all the good comments. It's very sweet of you. Wow. It's all coming together. So cool. Yes. Hey, Jeannie, Armella. Hello. Um, glad you're here. Wow, this is going to be so different from your car. So different from my car. New Rolling Stones paint it black is in my head. I have seen some builds where people have thick PVC pipes to open the sides of their van to store water for sure. Oh, I've seen those too. I love the cabinets too, lost stores. So these are the cabinets that I bought straight from Home Depot. They're just pre-made cabinets. Um, and I know we talked about them being like press board, um, but at this point I didn't want to spend time building cabinets. So we just bought those and we just cut things out of it and it just is what it is. Um, but it, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of storage compared to her cards, freaking mansion. Yes, totally. Everything looks so good. Thank you. Uh, nice. She's going to be so happy with this. Yes. Um, oh, did we get to 73 people watching? That's amazing. Uh, very nice job. Thank you so much, Steve. Uh, the van is coming along very nicely. Love the headroom. 
That is the one thing I don't like about my SUV. Yeah, that roof is a labor of love because I'm glad I can stand up in it. I can't wait to see it when she gets behind, gets the bed in there. Yes, I was thinking she'd keep the bed that came with the van. Nope, we had to get rid of that thing. Gonna be living in the lap of luxury. Coachella Valley in the house. Hey, inverted th 311. What's up? Um, I don't think you're going to be ready at Thanksgiving. We'll see. Uh, hey, Ty, how are you? I'm great. Please be careful when you're in areas that are below 32. You don't want to water to freeze and light. Yes, exactly. This looks amazing. Just me. Thank you so much. Yeah, I got a dimmer switch. Uh, USB charging ports. Yes. Uh, are you going to use the magnetic child lock on your car? I think I am going to install the magnets so that, you know, it doesn't be, it doesn't be, it doesn't, you know, move when I'm driving. Um, German is Wasser for water. Oh, okay. She's really thinking of everything. Yes, it is amazing. You guys work so hard. Yeah, such a difference from last week. We really like try to think things through this week, even though we, I got to get comfortable. This is, I'm falling into the, crack of the bed coming along really well doing it brilliant job thank you that switch that turns on the red light is the hooker switch <laughs> i don't know about that um the van is looking great what a difference both indians and germans have trouble pronouncing the word w uh worldwide web and william what color are you going? i'm going to paint it white the van is looking great uh love the duster got a Poof, have a blessed weekend and we get, thank you so much. California car duster. Yes. Hey, two sisters in a cocktail. That's my friend, Ivana. She's been on a few videos. So thank you for being here. Totally late, but jumping in. Love you. Um, <laughs> yes. Thank you two sisters for helping me out. Um, Thank you so much, Ivana. Very nice. Almost ready for the cover of Better Vans and Gardens. <laughs> why am I so excited about your fridge? When we meet up, I want some delicious snacks. That's why I cook a tasty meal. You share yourself. I'll share all my snacks, Kendra. Come on now. If you cook, I'll bring all the food. Because I'm not, a, like I said, I'm not the greatest cook, but I can supply food. Put some Rhino Liner on it. That will help it be more bomb proof. Bomb proof. Is Rhino Liner... Like, what is that for? Is that for the outside? Love the fridge and stand with area free body. And those cabinets have tons of room and possibility. Yes. Bomb proof typo. I just got here and got in time. The van looks like, yay. If you spray it with a rhino liner, you will never have to worry about scrap. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Uh, so what I'm going to do is it's going to have like regular white paint, but then at the bottom, there's going to be a strip of black and it's going to be like that rhino liner. Um, there's another name that I was looking up another brand name, but I know what you're talking about. Um, if you get to Washington, I'll keep some TP in storage just for you on your continuing journey. Wait a minute. Now my van has a wet bath adjacent to the kitchen. Moisture and mold aren't bad in Southern California deserts. Will you get a hot plate for your kitchen? I have a one burner induction cooktop. So I think that should be sufficient. We have a teardrop and the RV toilet is 12... <laughs> 12 inches from the kitchen. That is RV and van life. It just looks so awesome. Electrical was really well thought out. Thank you. Um, I really have been staying up and having sleepless nights thinking about this. <laughs> and I just hope that I've thought things through enough to like plugging things in and where things are going to be. Because you, a lot of these things you can't really undo once you do them. So like we really had to try to measure and I'm really praying that my bed is not taller than like where I going to have like the dimmer switches and stuff. But if it is then too bad for me, but it's, it's hard because I'm not like a contractor. So I'm just, you know, trying to think about practical things when I'm like living in this van. So thank you guys so much for all your kind, wonderful comments. Yes. Um, watching your dad taking out. Oops. What's my place? Taking out wheelchair chili was hilarious. Thank you, Brian. I'm craving some junk food and Oreo cookie shake. 5,000 calories. That's true. Use maple wood inside the van as natural antibacterial. Oh, interesting. We'll be posting videos of you working on the van. Um, Donnie, yes. So 
I have so much footage of me and my dad and my mom um, doing the van, um, but nothing was like 100% finished. So I can't complete the videos, um, but I will have a video, a new video out tomorrow. It's going to be us putting in the flooring and there's a guest appearance by Ivana from two sisters, sisters and a cocktail. So make sure to watch that tomorrow. And then I have some, a lot of these build videos coming up soon, like us putting in the fridge, how we did it, the cabinets and like all this plumbing and stuff like that. So I will be posting all those videos. Hey, Sania, how are you? Thank you so much. Moved from Chex Mix to McDonald's fries. Oh man, I had McDonald's fries this week too. Not gonna lie. When retiring from the day, I have your little jingle in my head. Oh, inspires me the next day. That's so sweet. Thank you so much, Nellie. Hey, Dee Dee. Um, the van build's coming along so nicely. Can't wait for your official road trip episode. You guys are doing an amazing job. Thank you so much. Uh, that's why they use maple on butcher. Oh, yeah, butcher box. Okay, for chopping meat. Where is Mike tonight? Um, habit burger. I do like a good habit burger, although I'm trying not to eat like meat right now. Love the live streams. Keep them coming. Thank you. Um, truck bed liner and often used in four wheel drives. What cellular service will you use uh, to stream from the road? Uh, I had Verizon. My nose is running because I went outside and it was cold for me. Um, I had Verizon. I moved to a service called Visible, which uses Verizon towers, but I don't want to give my official report yet because I've only had it for like a month. But so far, I don't think it's as good. And I think I'm going to have to end up switching back. I think I'm going to get a cell signal booster, but I'm not sure which one yet. Because I keep going back from a, like a MoFi 4500 to the Wii Boost, And I've had plenty of people saying they prefer one over the other and vice versa. And I just don't know which one to get. But they're both expensive, so I don't want to make the wrong choice. I'm not a van lifer, but I have seen people who have been doing it for years it looks like you have a very nice setup thank you so much you're using common sense in your van design and you have a lot of common sense thank you i have a second appearance i feel super special yes definitely i think all the stuff she had to go through while in her car helps her to know what to include for oh that's true too i guess um yeah living in the car i kind of was like oh i wish i would have had this and so i try to think of it that way too um Bamboo plates and bowls. I carry them around the world. And don't forget some cute utensils. Amazon has the best selections. Yes. I haven't even started like outfitting my, like what's going in my kitchen and stuff. I'm just so excited to get this other part done. Meet healthy Lori. Uh, hey, glad you could make it. I'm so glad you caught a live. Um, will you be able to continue the live streams while you're on? Yes, that is a priority for me. So I have to have a very strong signal. Um, which means I'm going to have to have a booster of some sort and good service. Um, I'm actually going to be doing more live streaming when I'm on the road. Um, so I really need to like get that taken care of. Um, cheers from Australia. Hey, Susan. Glad to have you. Hey, Nia. How are you? Big fan over here in Wales. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Don't forget lights for underbelly of your van for rats and my yes exactly i i'm gonna get some of those like stick lights um for under there but I, I haven't really bought those things yet bye wanda thank you for coming um let's see oh you sent your is it a did you have a high boost or a wee boost jeff when you leave what's the first place you're headed to um the first place i'm headed to is probably san diego because I have friends there and I'm going to say goodbye because I'm not going to be in California for a while. Um, and then I am going to Texas to visit my son because I'm going to be there for Christmas. So I'll just hang around Texas for the month of December, different parts of Texas and do a bunch of filming and checking like things I haven't places I haven't really been to yet and eating some good food, which will probably be have to be takeout because of COVID. But still, I'm going to be doing so much more like in terms of videos and live streams when I get back out on the road. So stay tuned for that. Um, before you outfit, can we somehow have a van shower for you? Maybe you could register on Amazon. That would be so fun. Oh, a van shower. That'd be, that would be so fun. I want to do like, I'm going to do like a big reveal episode and it's going to be a premiere. Um, so YouTube lets you do these like premiere episodes so that you can um, like let people know ahead of time when it's going to be. And we can do the live chat while the video is playing. So it won't be a live. 
but it'll be the video playing and we can all be in the chat talking. So maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I'll think about that. But that's sweet of you for even saying that. Uh, you need to have a van shower like people do for babies. <laughs> Eric from Mad Nomadic Fanatic uses Nomad Internet. I don't know anything about it, but he likes it. I'm going to check into that. I've heard so many people, like people doing so many different things. And I'm quite honestly overwhelmed with that. But it's one of the most important things that I haven't even had time to think about, like really focus on it. But it's so important because I need to stay connected on the road. But I don't want to make the wrong choice because these options are like very expensive. Oh, it's a high boost. Okay, I'll did, you didn't like it. Um, night, night for now. Have a good sleep. Good night, Nellie. Thank you for joining. Just found your channel about two weeks ago. I've been binging on your video. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad. Um, <laughs> that's a God thing. Hallelujah. I'm hearing you say my mom and dad. Uh, and to me, kind of sounds like the story of the three bears. My grandmother used to read it to me. Maybe you can come visit me in Maryland. Oh, are you moving? Oh, we got to have a conversation about that later. Uh, when you get that van finished, you need to drive it to Europe. How? How can I do that? Um, your reveal is going to get go into millions of views. Yay! Thank you so much. I'll take it. If she drives into Europe, she would have a saltwater van shower nonstop for days. True. No bad wireless is the most expensive system you can have that uses multiple cell towers and multiple carriers. I know. It's crazy. All right. So we have really run like long on this live stream. Um, I'm going to get a tissue, so give me like a 15-second pause. Hold, please. I don't want to keep using my my finger for like a tissue, <laughs> which is weird. And I feel like you can see the little, you know glistening of the moistness coming out of my nose, which is gross. Um, okay, there are castles in Texas that you can visit. My friend found two. Oh, for us, this tour, this is number castle. Okay, let me write this down because I am going to be spending some time there. Falkenstein. Castle. Oh, Travel Bunny Bear on Instagram. Follow me and I'll um, check you out. Uh, let's see. It's Allison. She will figure out how to drive it to you. I mean, if there's anybody, I probably would try to figure that out. The Travel Snacks Fan Life Drive to the tip of Argentina. No joke. I probably would try that. Yes, let's do Would You Rather. Commercial time. All right, uh, maybe save up your YouTube donations to support a satellite phone. But the satellite phones aren't that great, I've heard. So I don't know about that intermission. Now let's talk about what we want in the van. <laughs> it's like the chief said that they used to have on TV when the television shut off. Or that, yeah, yeah, you guys are like having a little conversation. Come to Virginia Beach in the spring. Yes, I'm trying to do... As soon as it gets warm enough, I'm trying to hit all the East Coast, starting at the top and like working my way down. So I think it's going to be so fun. I'm going to have so many like adventures and videos. It's going to be awesome. Grant, thank you so much. You are amazing. You are amazing and just so just awesome. And I'm so happy to have you as the moderator and just so blessed. Thank you so much. Let's give Grant his shout out. Thank you so much. So appreciated. Thank you, Grant. 81 here today in North Texas. That's nice. Grantini. I have to say it like that. Okay, let's do a quick would you rather game. And before I start the would you rather, um, I want to say that Janaya had a good suggestion. Um, there's a, a game, I think it's called If or What If. Um, and basically it's like, you know, if you could have dinner with one person who would it be and I think that'd be a fun thing that we could like chop it up about on the chat um, and then right before this live stream Ivana texted me and she's like 
you know what, I found this book, it's called If, and like, that's the second person that brought it up in the same week. So I was like, hmm, that could be very interesting. Um, and like, the message that Ivana sent me, like in one of the pages of the book, it was like, if you could keep only one home appliance, what would you keep? Or if you were reincarnated as an animal, what would it be? I mean, there's just basic examples, but I feel like we could do something fun with that. So I'm going to keep doing the would you rathers until I leave um, in my van. And then maybe we'll switch over and start doing some other games. So if you guys think of anything cool, let me know. But I think that's a good one because that broadens up like the chat conversation. Take your van to Yellowstone to meet Yogi Bear. <laughs> that's cute. Good night, Kita. Thank you for joining. Um, Grant, I literally have no words other than you are an amazing human being. True facts. Grant, you are the cutest little green pear. That's cute. <laughs> uh, later, Tater. Bye, Jeff. Let's play. Yay. That would be fun, too. Yeah, I think that would be fun. Okay, If. The, it's a book called If. Yeah, it's so funny because right before this live stream, this is the, the picture Ivana sent me. Isn't that funny? So I feel like it's got to be good. It's got to be a fun time. Holy cow, that's right. Do you have your passport? Habla español. Speaks it. I do have my pass passport. And I don't speak Spanish. I can speak like 10 words of Spanish. Um, so awesome. Okay, so let's do a quick game. Because it feels like this week, it feels like time just flew by on this live stream. I had so much to say and show you that it's just crazy. And we had so many people on this live stream. So thank you guys so much for participating and just being awesome. You guys are amazing. Okay, so we're just going to do three of them today since we're like almost at two hours. Uh, so let me pick the best three. Okay, let's just do the top three. Okay, would you rather have, uh, like, your whole body is covered in feathers, like, you're like a bird, but not a bird, but like, just your body's covered in permanent feathers? Or would you rather have a body full of scales, like a mermaid kind of situation? Which one? Also, where's fake freedom? Like, I know you mentioned that before, but also, whenever we play this game, it's like, I start to think about like the people that are usually here and also snow panther van life rocks. Um, who else is not here? There's a few people that were missing. Um, so like big bird, yes. Like big bird. Uh, you could be like big bird or I don't know who else has feathers. Snuffleupagus. Is that feathers? I don't know. So feathers or scales. Oh, we're already coming through with feathers, 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 feathers. Feathers, you can always pluck off feathers. <laughs> I know, right? Where's fake freedom? Yeah, feathers, feathers, down feathers. Um, everybody's picking feathers. Uh, feathers for sure. Scales, I like everything that shines. And feathers in the rain would suck. Facts. Feathers for me, scales for Rhea. Okay, feathers, feathers is neither an option. <laughs> For the game, you have to pick one. Feathers, 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 scales. Hey, Life with Bobby, how are you? Um, Eve, so if you choose scales, you'd be like Godzilla. I guess you could, that could be like Godzilla, lizard, iguana, or a mermaid. I guess it depends on the kind of scales you get. You know, I don't know. Scales, okay, Meet Healthy Lori's picking scales. Feathers, hey, Snow Panther, how are you? I thought you weren't here. Scales reminds me of dry skin. You'd have to lather up with lots of lotion if you had scales. Hello from Michigan. This is my first time here. Hey, Kimberly, how are you? I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for being part of the live stream. I could pluck them and make my own pillow. Facts. Nobody likes scales. Not while eating junk food. <laughs> That's true. Scale sounds like a bad skin. It's good here. Awesome. My favorite game is Tetris. Oh, interesting. I think Tetris would probably like stress me out. Scathers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we had so many people more for feathers than scales, but we had a few scales in there. Uh, 
Um, so which one do you guys think that I'll choose? Do you think I'm going to choose feathers or scales? Um, while you guys are staying, like, you know, choosing what you think I'll pick, um, I really am still trying to leave the day after Thanksgiving in my van. Um, I know that's only like two weeks away and we still have a lot to do. Um, but we've been really working around the clock. Like we've been working pretty much till it gets dark every day. So we'll see. We'll see if we can get it done. Um, but if not, then it'll be like not too long after Thanksgiving, but I'm really still trying to leave the day after Thanksgiving. So that's the plan. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Snow Panther in the house. Uh, that was good. Would you rather? Um, Grant says, I'm going to say feathers, feathers, scales, feathers. Where am I from? I'm from California. Feathers, you'll choose feathers. Feathers for you, feathers. Allison chooses feathers. I can't see you in scales. You would choose feathers. <clears throat> they keep you warm. All feathers for you. You're lighthearted. All. You'll pick feathers. Allison would pick feathers. Hi, everyone, and thank you for... Yes, welcome, welcome. Feathers for you. You're definitely a feather hippie chick. Scale seems kind of cold. Feathers would be warm. You would choose feathers. Kimberly, this is a great group. Of... Yes, and we're so happy you're here. Allison would spend a lot of time grooming herself with feathers. Feathers. I agree, Grant. Um, well, I... I gotta think about this. Feathers to fly and soar above the trees. Oh, I'm kind of with Ivana. Like I want to choose scales because like feathers seems like it's going to get in my way, but also scales are dry and seem very harsh. So I think I would actually go with, Feathers. I think you guys are all right and you guys know me pretty well. <laughs> I still think I'd go with feathers because you can groom feathers. Like feathers is kind of like hair. So you can cut it out of your face and like, you know, make it like flow. And if it rains and it gets weathery, you could just wear a jacket. So I think feathers would be cool. And especially if it was like really like pretty feathers, like if you had like pink or like green, no, not green, maybe electric blue feathers or something. I think it'd be nice. So yes, I will pick feathers. Um, feathers would keep you warmer. True. With all that work she put into the van, she would choose flying. She wouldn't choose flying. Nailed it. Feathers are lightweight for the van. True. True. Oh, I like that peacock emoji. Yeah, I think feathers would be better just in general. And I mean... If you think about birds, they got feathers, and I think a lot of those feathers might be like water wicking. <clears throat> so I think it's feathers for me. All right, so the next one is um, would you rather – now, so I know some of you guys are in relationships or married, so just if you are, just kind of think of this as if you were still dating. But don't get in trouble with your partner. This is just a game. Um, so – if you were going to be set up on a blind date, would you rather have your mom set up the blind date or your dad? Which one do you think has better taste of like picking a blind date for you? And if you, and let me know why, like why? Okay. Dad, uh, my mom, my dad for sure, my dad, my mom, my dad. This is too confusing. Let's, let's ask Einstein or your dad. My mom for sure, dad, mom. After all, she picked my dad and he is awesome. Oh, that's so sweet. <clears throat> dad. We have a lot for the dads. My mom, because she knows me best. Because he is a guy, same as me. Dad, my mom would hook me up with a... <laughs> my dad don't like my mom okay hey if my dad was still alive definitely him my mom is too picky my dad my mom has a horrible relationship record married five times 
oh my God, I'm going to bail on either date. <laughs> Single for life in this scenario. Dad, mom for me, my dad is evil. Rhea says her dad, <clears throat> he knew more about human nature than her mother does. Okay. Uh, my mother, because I'm a girl, um, back. Glad to have you back. Um, this is a hard one to like choose for another person. So you guys may not know who who you think I would choose, but you could just guess. <clears throat> if you have already voted for yourself, which one do you think I would choose? Do you think I would have my mom or my dad choose a blind date for me? It's okay, Grant. Everyone deserves a learning curve. Yeah, <laughs> Your dad. Dad, mom, mom, dad. I think you would choose your dad, your mom. I think you'll pick your dad, Allison, your mom, your mom, dad for you, your dad. Hard to say, both your parents are cool. <laughs> I cannot choose easily for you. Both are wonderful people. Your dad would recognize a good sense of humor. That's true. You'd pick your dad, your mom. After all, your dad was going to start a pooping <laughs> <laughs> oh bad hilarious um no offense dad no i don't think he'd take offense to that i don't know if they're watching or not but um i was a sagittarian with a scorpio mother and a virgo father i was in astrological opposition with both of them i don't follow, follow any of the um like astrology stuff so i don't really know any of those things snow panther a pooping channel yeah my dad is funny neither if you're a girl they would both be protective i'd actually watch that channel <laughs> now i'm changing dad of course they're watching don't answer <laughs> i think my dad usually chimes in if he's watching so who knows um what you like doing more lives or videos um I like both of them, actually. I love the lives because I get to interact with the snack pack. All of you guys are hilarious and <clears throat> so warm and loving. So I love doing the lives. Uh, I am tired afterwards, though. I'm like, okay, I need a nap after. Because talking for two hours, it can be a lot. But I just enjoy it so much that it's it's fun. Um, in the videos, I feel it's like very rewarding. Like I don't love editing. But once I'm done, I'm like, oh, this is so awesome. And I feel like if I can give some good information to people, then it makes me feel happy. So I actually love doing the videos, putting those out as well. So I think both of them I love, you know, I think it's great. Virgo is 180 degree opposite of, oh, okay. So that's not good. Who would win a lion or a bear? I don't know. Thank you very much. Uh, me too. I love the live chat, but I'm wiped out. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I'm like, okay, I, after this, I'm always just like, what are we going to have for dinner? Let's just get pizza. We get pizza almost every Saturday night because it's just like, I just want to take a nap. Uh, thank you. I don't think it's, the lives are stressful. Um, I don't feel stressed at all. I feel excited when I get ready for the lives, but at the end, I'm just like, like, because I'm like on for the whole time. And then when I'm done, I'm just like, um, you work just as hard as Allison. As Grant. Yes, for sure. Um, okay, so for that answer, I would choose my mom to pick a blind day for me because I think she knows my taste better. Like my dad would definitely pick somebody like good in terms of like someone that can like work on cars and like has a sense of humor and like good and stuff. But I think my mom knows my taste better. So I think I would choose my mom if it was going to be a blind date. So that's my answer. Um, oh, thank you, Grant. I've never done a live. Of course, my channel is so small. Well, you can do them anytime. I started when, like, let's see. I think I had, yeah, I think I had just about 1,000 subscribers when I started my lives. And I think the first live, we had 20 people. Then it would dip down to like 12 people. So it starts out like slow and small, but it builds up. So if you like doing lives, you could do it. If you could only see what we are all are doing. Yeah, that'd be weird. Um, I know. Sorry. I would pick my mom because I think she might know me like a little bit better in terms of that. 
this goes back to the argument of who came first, the chicken or the egg. Well, the chicken came first because I believe in the Bible and God put all the animals on the earth. So that's easy for me to answer that for myself. Well, she did tell you to get the van. That's true. Eve knows all my videos. She's paying attention. <laughs> Are you concerned about traveling during COVID? I'm 100% zero concern. That didn't make sense. I'm 0% concerned about COVID. I'm headed out tomorrow for the first time since COVID, but I'm staying in the state. Uh, that's awesome. I'm glad you're getting out. I don't have any concerns at all. 0%. Why do they have to be blind? I don't know. I love your live stream. Oh, I'm so glad. Well, I got to go. Okay. I don't know how to say your name. So I'm glad you came over to the live stream though. The van hookup is looking really good. I hope mine is as good as yours. One of them. Have a good night. Thanks you too so much. Um, hey, AGT WNC. Amen. Hallelujah. Would you do a zoom meet and greet? I might do that in the future. Uh, amen to the Bible. Hallelujah. Are you still requesting diapers from North shore? I have requested diapers from North shore once. Um, but now that I'm going to have a, like a little toilet system in my van, I don't think I'm going to use them. So if I ever get back to that, then maybe I will. All right. So let's do really quickly one last, would you rather, because I know you guys have lives outside of the live stream. Um, so this was a fun one. Would you rather every time you talked, um, you either have to talk in what wouldn't be talking. You'd have to either sing it in show tunes or you'd have to rap whatever you wanted to say. So you'd be like full on rapping everything you have to say or full on show tune everything you have to say. So it'd be like the sound of music in your life or a rap battle every time you talked. Which one would you rather? I own a business and I'm living in a shed between things I found you and I feel better about life. Oh, amen. A shed, it seems luxurious. Like, I mean, it sounds, doesn't sound luxurious, but when I think about the space in a shed, you could really like hook that thing up. All right, Donnie T, popping off with some rap. Oh, Debbie's going with the show tunes. Absolutely show tunes for Tanya, show tunes. Susan's like, not rap. <laughs> Grant would have rap. Lori would sing. I'd get sick of rhyming. That's true. Show tunes for RN Jewel. Monique's going to sing. Matthew Gibbs, show tunes. I love show tunes. I prefer show tunes over Rhapsody. To save others' ears, I'd have to choose rap. <laughs> uh, well, I have an awful voice, but I sure can't rap. Show tunes for both me and Rhea would be, we would be dueling something or another. If you had a partner, like you could just be like full on show tune duet singing and I can't even sing. Wait, that's true. All that rhyming. I changed my mind. Sing show tunes. Rap because I can't carry a tune even though I was in choir in high school. <clears throat> I'd rather rhyme all the time on a drop of a dime. Oh, there you go. Last on Al Anne's Lens. Uh, sing most likely out of tune. <clears throat> PDX trailers going with show tunes. <clears throat> I always try to rap against my husband. I'm horrible at me too. I'm not a good rapper at all. Uh, I remember you singing in high school. You'd be good at either. Oh, Julie. Is that you, Julie, from high school? RN Jewel. Hi. Thank you very much. But wait, I can't sing. I can't do that to everyone. I'm back to rapping. Jeff is going with haikus. All right. <clears throat> um, which one do you guys think I would choose? Rapping or show tunes? RN Jewel is a high school friend. So I'm glad you made it to the live stream. We will be singing the theme from Brady Bunch. Uh, Janiah says, I'm going to do show tunes. Uh, Grady, I'm actually, I actually enjoy poetry through mo modern rap is not my thing. Uh, Tanya says, I'd sing. So fun to see you in here. Yes, you too. I'm so glad you made it. Um, hello. No, 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 no. Um, uh, okay. Steve says rap show tunes for you. I guess Donnie says, I'm going to sing show tunes for you. Show tunes for you. For sure. You love to sing and have a great voice. Thank you. Show tunes. I bet you'd probably do show tunes. Uh, sing. You have a husband. No, I don't have a husband. I've had two of them though, but I don't have a husband anymore. 
I am new here, but if I can answer, I would love to combine them. That would be cool. And hey, Gilbert, glad you're here. Show tunes for you. I would say you're going to rap uh, both, but I'm going to, I'm going with rap for you. Saw you rapping on one of your videos. <laughs> That's true. I forgot about that video. Show tunes for you. You have a wonderful voice and, and don't belt out obscenities. Amen. iTunes tunes. You could do mumble rap. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Uh, let's see. Show tunes. Why was my show tunes message deleted? Um, I'm not sure. Um, when are we going to get to hear the album you made back in the day? You should play it in the background during a live stream sometime. Maybe. Maybe I'll do something like that. No, that is not right. Rap. <laughs> Third time's a charm. I guess we'll see in the future if that happens. Um, did everybody vote? I'm trying to think if there's anything that I missed talking about today. Yeah, I got everything. Um, all right. Um, so I would choose, I know a lot of you, Pick show tunes, but I would actually choose to rap everything because I'm not that great at rapping. But if if I was forced to rap everything, I would be so good as a rapper. And you don't have to rhyme everything when you rap. You don't. You can just be clever. And I think I'd become like I'd have to use my mind more to rap. And I would just become like more thoughtful, thoughtful about the things I say. And it'd be cool to be just like rapping, like, you know. So I would choose rapping instead of show tunes. I do like show tunes, but I think I'd get sick of it all. Like, especially if I was like, well, I guess if you got like sad or passionate, that could become a very cool show tune. Like, like you'd be very like, like passionate about it. But I still think I'd rap everything. Okay, let's see. Recount votes results by January 20th. <laughs> uh, no, I've had three husbands all dead now, and it wasn't my cooking. <laughs> Me neither. I didn't kill any of my ex-husbands. Grant says I sucked this week. No, you you just tried, and I was all over the place. Um, wow, I'm surprised. I know. Uh, she's a... Okay... You would rap and dance. I would try to dance, but we'll see. Let's hear some impromptu rap. Oh, no, I'm terrible at that. Show tunes is a high, high standard and not easy to sing. Rap all-terrain auto glass. Well, there was that wasp that was dancing to the music you were playing in your car. You two could hook up for a rap session. That's true. That thing was, that wasp was getting it. Passionate, I like that. Rap a show tune. Yeah, that's true. You could rap show tunes. Um, I think it'd be fun to like rap everything, but you would get so sick of it after a while. And I'm sure show tunes as well. Scales and freak everyone out. <laughs> true, true, and true. All right, so we've got a lot of good stuff covered today. Um, so in terms of the van build this week, we really have a lot to do. Um, so the plan is to get... All the cabinets uh, all like secured in, get all the walls done, and then um, we'll see how much time that's going to take because we still have to get the ceiling done and the bed and the cabinet face, front facing cabinet things. Um, so there's still a lot to do. Um, but if we stay on track, we might be able to get it all done before Thanksgiving or not before Thanksgiving, but at least by Thanksgiving. And like I said, if not, then we'll probably have maybe just a week after that. So um, we'll see. So everybody say a prayer for me. Um, let's see. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, A-G-T-W-N-C. Thank you so much. Let me give you your shout out. Coming in with the very last thing. I'm going to give you...
thank you so much. You guys are so awesome. Thank you guys for all the snack pack donations. Um, Eve, thank you for the hand warmer link. Yes, I'm so glad if you guys like that hand warmer that you get it and get a good deal on it because I think it's worth it. Um, keep up the good work. Thank you so much. Prayer said yes. Thank you. Thank you for all the prayers. I need all the prayers I could get because this these next two weeks is going to be crunch time. Thank you, Eve. Thank you so much. Um, awesome. Whoop, whoop. Uh, yeah, I really do need prayers because like me and my dad, you know, we're not spring chicken over here. So we're just like, you know, it's a lot of physical hard work. So we're really trying to like push ourselves to get a lot of stuff done. So thank you for all the prayers. Thank you guys for joining today. It's been super fun. Like it's, it's just always a good time. And I'm so grateful to all of you. And I look forward to next Saturday. Um, good night and God bless and have an amazing week. And I'll have a video for you guys out tomorrow. So until then, stay blessed. And until next time, bye for now. Pizza time. Yes. <laughs>